Hi friends, I'm here with Dr. Robert Scott Bell. He's actually pretty famous. And I thought I would ask him about copper and what the body uses copper for. Let's get to it. All right, yeah, well copper is a critical trace element that's sorely lacking in the human and animal body and, and our soil. And it's, res it's responsible for so many what we call cuproenzyme pathways. These are, it's a fancy way of saying uh, metabolic pathways of function, right? It relies upon copper, these pathways, because copper gives form. And from that form comes the function. Now, back in the day, we probably remember when mom or dad or grandma and grandpa ate liver regularly, right? Very few people do that. That's a high content food for copper. But over the last 70 years or so, minerals have been depleted from the soil because of the uh, chemical farming practices, uh, you know, big factory farms. And so of all the minerals tested, copper has been tested to be depleted almost 80% from the soils. So even if you think you're eating a copper rich food, it's not as rich as it once was. Now, why again is that important? I would say one thing uh, that you may want to understand for those of you that don't want to wrinkle, copper. Copper is the key to not wrinkling. Copper is the key to protect from uh, excessive UV radiation. So if you want to tan deeply and richly without any chromosomal damage, that's copper as a mineral. So you think about the beauty mineral, copper is that, although it works with other minerals like silica or uh, magnesium for energy production, because that's another issue. People say, I'm out of energy, I'm tired all of the time, chronic fatigue or long COVID. That could be the result of a lack of copper because copper works with magnesium. You know about magnesium. And that it works together at the deep cellular level in the, within the mitochondria to produce ATP, adenosine triphosphate. That's the energy production of the cell. And without copper, magnesium can't do it alone. So that's a critical part of energy. So if people are out of energy, that's a copper deficiency. Now, there are other things regarding connective tissue and repair. Uh, the reason we've been made worse in terms of our copper stores is because the last few years of COVID, even doctors were prescribing zinc and vitamin C. Now, zinc and vitamin C are good, but when they come in nature, they come with copper. When you isolate them and give them, they deplete copper from your body. So we've dropped copper even further by taking some things that are good, but we've made some other things worse. Okay, well, I don't want to, you're on a roll here, but what if you take quercetin with zinc? Well, that's helpful, but it still lacks the copper unless the quercetin is coming in with copper. And there are supplements that contain copper with quercetin too. So you need to read that label if you're taking a supplement. If you're doing anything zinc, make sure you've got copper coming in. Okay, that's okay. Helpful. Yeah. So beyond that, we go, I uh, said so energy, but how about the issue of inflammation? Anybody at all concerned about inflammation? Inflammation is also aging prematurely. What is the key mineral that manages the immune response that results in inflammation? It's copper. Without adequate copper, we can run in chronic systemic inflammation, chronic fatigue as well, but also fibromyalgia, arthritis, different things like that, skeletal inflammation, as well as vascular inflammation. Copper works with inflammation within the vascular system to protect the, the arteries, the veins, the heart itself. And then it works with another mineral known as selenium. Copper and selenium work together to protect the, you know, the varicosities. You talk about varicose veins? You need copper and selenium. And yet the two most malign minerals, according to medicine doctors, be careful, don't take too much copper. Be careful, don't take too much selenium. Both of those minerals, if you had adequate quantities of them, you'd never need a doctor. Isn't that funny how they go? Oh, those are the ones be careful with. Now, great. Well, that's why we have different doctors in yes. this. Yeah, sure. But I mean, that's the idea, of course, is what is the amount that we need? Now, if we're working for copper, the RDI, recommended daily intake in America, is about 900 micrograms for an adult. If you're pregnant or breastfeeding, you need what? 1,000, 1,100, 1,200 micrograms. It's not a lot, but we're not getting it from the food. So we're utilizing, I'm utilizing the sovereign copper from natural immunogenics. It's a liquid form of copper that has what we call copper one and copper two, the ions that the body will eventually, if you get copper in, in the diet, it will break down through digestion and absorption, but very inefficiently, maybe 30 to 40% of it. So if you take the sovereign copper, you have 100% benefit of a smaller amount, but you get larger benefit and you drink it a tablespoon or two one, two, or three times a day or more, depending on what you're dealing with, and you can restore the integrity to those pathways that have been corrupted, resulting in all the better health that we would expect when we're not fully inflamed, when we're not fatigued, right? When we have the strength of our body, the connective tissue, the muscles, the tendons, the bursts of the cartilage, uh, the bones, as well as the cardiovascular system. Again, coming back to copper, you begin to say, huh, I wonder if I should be taking copper. Uh, I think the answer would be a, def a resounding yes. 
Yes. Okay. So we've touched upon beauty. I wonder why we went there. We touched upon, you know, health and strength. But, I mean, this is really essential. It's so essential. Yeah, and, and, you know, think about the heart as well. If you've heard about people with arrhythmias, heart arrhythmias, that means your heart is beating out of, it's not, it's not functioning properly. The beats are off, right? Something's wrong. Now, in medicine, what they'll go in, they'll, 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 they call it an ablation procedure. I don't even like saying it. They go in and electrify and burn your heart muscle. So it stops beating, and they think, well, that will get it back into rhythm. But it turns out that copper is critical for normal heart rhythm, the brain neurological connection to the heart as well. So, so many of these cardiovascular issues, cardiomyopathies, myocarditis, pericarditis, are made worse in the absence of copper. Uh, but certainly that's the thing. Rather than burning your heart muscle and destroying the tissue, consider bringing copper into your system. Right, and we happen to have a whole tray of copper shots back there, and I haven't had one for a few hours. <laughs> no, I think you need to get another one. I know. I know. You know what? I'm going to get us both one, and yeah. I'm going to let yeah, I'm going to let you talk about why we're taking this product. Oh, okay, sure. So, good. so here we are. It's the Sovereign Copper here from Natural Immunogenics, and they also make the Silver Hydrosol for the doctors called Argentin 23 and the Sovereign Silver. And uh, yes, this is the bioactive <laughs> copper hydrosol you've just brought. Let me grab that. And uh, salute, cheers, l'chaim. Yep. And you would hold it under your tongue for about 30 seconds. Skull is another way. Hold, hold it on your tongue for about 30 seconds. Oh, or swish yeah. and swirl, mucosal absorption, maximizes the full benefit immediately into the various pathways of the body that need copper. But if you drink it, you that. first so I can talk and then I'll take it and I'll be quiet. So what's happening now is about 150 micrograms of copper in a tablespoon. That's one-sixth of the adult RDI. If she took six of these, that would just be meet the needs for copper on a daily basis. But because it's so efficient, you don't need to take that much. But if you have, our, uh, let's say, inflammation like arthritis or gout, if you took a lot frequently, very quickly, in the course of a day or two or three, that inflammation will go away and your arthritis and gout and other things goes away too. So there are reasons to take a lot in a quick time and there are reasons just to take a little bit over time. Now it's my turn. All right. And, you know, delivery system's really important. This is a very advanced group of doctors and... Most of your doctors are not functional medicine doctors. They're very traditional, and they don't understand the root cause of disease. They give you a Band-Aid, put a Band-Aid on it, and then you never really solve your problem, and you may be on drugs and maybe too many drugs for too many issues for the rest of your life, which will shorten your life and no doubt add to your oxidative stress. So we have to be super careful that we go to the root cause, and that is definitely one of the themes of a lot of these anti-aging shows that we need to solve problems from the cause of it yes. and to have a healthy body this is going to clear up a lot of your issues that you're plagued with you would be surprised well you, you mentioned the root cause and i think this is a really critical moment to think about if you want to manage inflammation in the body you want to reduce inflammation in the body. You can do it with a drug. You can do it with a non-steroidal or steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. But those things will destroy your stomach, your intestines, your colon, your liver. Weirdly enough, God created copper. It's the natural substance of creation. And copper manages and reduces inflammation safely. And guess what? Instead of destroying your liver, it helps your liver to function better side benefits instead of side effects. So phase one detox pathways are supported by copper coming back into the body as well as that, again, reducing the ongoing chronic inflammation that people can't seem to get over. Well, one thing I want to do before we go today, I definitely want you to know how to find Robert Scott Bell. And I also want you to know how to find this product. They've always been so hospitable, so amazing. And it is really tops i mean it's really top of the market yeah. i use it my whole family uses it my mom uses it and here's what you got to do come to robertscottbell.com i'm on the air live two hours a day five days a week and i do an additional hour on sunday called sunday conversations and it's at robertscottbell.com all the links their banner links to this you can find the sovereign copper there the sovereign silver and all of that and so you can be empowered with it not only good information but actual things that you can put into your body that will strengthen it on your journey back to health or if you're already healthy even better health or just maintain what you want absolutely i was lucky i could squeeze him in today because he's he's really talking a lot 
that. <laughs> Always got his face in a microphone today. But it was amazing to get to do this with you. We're going to hit on some other subjects another time. But this is a great one. And please take it to heart, everybody. Take it to all the parts of your body. Here's some places that you can go. Take a look. And I hope you will. And please share this with a friend. You know what I always say. Suffering is optional. And life is what you make it. Thank <laughs> you.